this is an open aortic training course. The reason we're doing this is because there has been a significant decline in the number of open aortic procedures being performed, largely because of the increase in use of endografts. The challenge then is that our trainees are having fewer and fewer open aortic cases to be trained on. I think there is a great need for this. Uh, we are trying to evaluate the effectiveness of this course by uh, looking at the technical ability before and after, um, as well as trying to evaluate you know, the, 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 how they perceive the value of this course. I really enjoy the discussion among the faculty members and the fellows and residents about the various techniques and procedures that they use. It's educational, it's informative, and it's instructional. It's very important for me to participate in all kinds of teaching activities. And I think that somebody took the time to teach me how to do these things, and I enjoy teaching residents and fellows. And as things are going in this day and age with all the endovascular and all those types of approaches now, it's very important that we carry on the tradition of vascular surgeons actually doing surgery and trying to teach our trainees the appropriate way to do these things. I think the fact that you have three, you know, you know, very seasoned experts in the field coming together and, you know, each one of them talks about their experience and how they do things slightly differently. And I think it's the back and forth between the attendees and, you know, and the faculty. Taking that and, you know, going to the hands-on part of the course where you're dealing with the cadavers, you're having the attendings, you know, looking over your head, you know, and saying, this is how I would do this and that. And I, you know, I think it gives you the opportunity to translate, you know, what you've learned onto the cadavers um, and it just makes it much more relatable. The technical parts of it are very valuable because there's a lot that, you know, as a trainee, my attendings do without me even noticing. And so for them to be able to kind of um, say, this is what I'm thinking right now um, when I'm tying down this suture, I'm making sure that it feels like this. You know, the, the technical points of aortic surgery that we don't have an opportunity to ask in the operating room. The uh, open aortic course was uh, designed because uh, residents just don't simply get as much open aortic surgery as they have in the past. In surgical education in a whole, we spend a lot of time talking about the theory of surgery and we talk about the statistics and randomized trials and different kind of medical therapies. So we do spend in this program a substantial amount of time really talking. How do you do the surgery? How do you stand? How do you hold the needle driver? How, what kind of suture do you use? What's the best position to be in? How do you approach things? How do you expose it? How do you put in retractors? So we spend a, some of this is just basic didactic chalk talk. Um, the second part of it, of course, is the hands-on opportunity to get into a cadaver lab and use models to really uh, put our theory into action. The two uh, pieces of the program really work hand in hand and, and this facility and the, and the situation we have down here uh, makes this a really exemplary course. Thank you.